Oh shoot, forgot my mask. Okay. Paper is. I gotta go way down there. There's these huge rolls of insulation and they gotta get moved out of the way so I can see the, uh, the rafters here and not fall through the ceiling. Okay, hopefully you can hear me through the mask. Um, this is the original insulation you're looking at now and that's the flex wiring and that won't that black pipe there is the main drain uh, vent that's your like four inch vent so that the, the toilet tees into that uh, so that is in the wall that I took the medicine cabinet out of so right here is the wall and I'm gonna drop my fishing pole right down the wall here so I can get this insulation been holding this insulation back and it's gonna roll back on top of me. I almost lost you in the insulation. Okay, I got two holes drilled. You can just barely see the light coming up. There's one there and there's one there. And you've seen this before if you've watched my other videos. This is going down. Oops, down. And that's far enough there. Now I gotta trace the switch leg over to the wall switch and I'm gonna drill three more holes down. One for power, one for the light, and one for a fan. I'm pretty sure this is it. There it is. There it is. Now I gotta make several trips. Gotta bring a wire up, goes down. To bring a wire up, goes to the light. Bring another wire up, goes to the fan. So that's our power wire and I went back down got this end this goes down I go down <laughs> I come up a wire comes up takes a bit of time but it's worth it Okay, just got back up here. Look at that. Went way up into the ceiling there. There it is. Whew! Okay, down we go. This goes to this 
light box. We'll be getting rid of these lights. Okay, this is, well, I'll be up here again. Whew. I'll be up here again putting the fan in. But for the time being, this is my last, oh, last wire. I'm going to leave this, if I can get this up this hole. Hopefully it comes up this hole. Uh, I'll leave it coiled up up here and, um, Oh boy, revisit it once I get the, the fan. This is my new home run. This wire here used to have an outlet attached to it. This is the other end of it that used to go up into the light box. So it was a switched GFI outlet. So what I'm trying to do is tie these two together and pull this and have this go all the way through into this box. It's a good chance that it won't work. Um, and I'll have to go to plan B. But if it does work, uh, I save myself quite a bit of time. I'm going to explain something to a lot of the keyboard commandos that obviously don't do electrical work on a regular basis. This is not a stab connection. You do not wrap your wires around the, uh, the screws. What you do is you put it in. See how loose that is? It's not a stab connection. When you put this uh, in there, you crank down on the screw. Now that screw is clamping this wire in. Not a stab connection. Same thing with the ground. The ground just goes in. Goes in. This is not hot, by the way. I don't have the other end hooked up yet. And you screw this down. There you go. Not a stab connection. Stop saying, that's not a stab. You can't even stab 12 gauge into regular outlets. No such thing as stabbing 12 gauge wire in 15 amp outlets. <laughs> if you only have one outlet on your 20 amp circuit, it has to be a 20 amp outlet. You'll have a little side kicker on the prong. If you have more than two outlets on a 20 amp circuit, they can and they always are 15 amp. Unless you've got some reason to plug in a 15, or excuse me, a 20 amp appliance. They're always going to be um, 15 amp outlets. This is a 15 amp outlet. So this is completely dead now. Um, I disconnected all the power that goes to this light and the switch and all that junk. But um, what, I'm, what I'm doing now is uh, removing the old switch leg. So that will come out and the new switch leg will go in. Okay, I'm up in the attic again. And this is stapled and of course I forgot to bring up a dang pry bar or something. 
So I'm going to try to, oh yeah. Now this goes down to that switch, the bathroom switch. And hi ha 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 There you go. That's one. Okay, this one here goes to the light fixture. Oh. Let's see. Oh, that's a tight hole. Uh -oh. I'm gonna shove it down. I'm not sure if it shows up on camera, but this whole area here is, I don't know. It's definitely been removed and replaced with some plaster. And drywall actually, it looks like. I gotta pull this out. I'm replacing the supply lines, the shutoffs, and then I gotta look at the drain in here. Uh, it's, it's PVC up in this area. Um, we'll see if there's anything usable. Uh, as far as the sanitary tea goes. This rubber boot here, this is common. This isn't that bad of a thing to see. But what's interesting is that there's all this caulking that's in it or used around it because they didn't probably didn't have the right size there's another rubber boot is that a rubber boot another rubber boot there filled with caulking oh I got a feeling I'm gonna replace from right here this lead um, all the way up to oh I'll figure it out. As from here over, this CPVC or this is regular PVC and goes up and vents. This is just the vent goes up through the house. So it looks like this medicine cabinet is kind of a fairly new addition. They used to have the vent pipe go straight up, and whoever lived here before routed the vent pipe over and up to allow for the medicine cabinet. Ooh, what is that? <laughs> That's scary looking. Come on. Alrighty. Wow. That is... Yeah. Man, look at that. Who does that? Look at how packed full of caulking that is. That is pretty strange stuff there. I've never seen it. see the galvanized that's not used for a drain and just a vent is free and clear looks good even have a brass fitting here where it goes into this flexible lead tube here okay
there it goes. That's how you do it. Piece of cake with a little bit of heat and some WD. Ooh, it's still a little hot. I should just wait for this thing to cool down, but oh, not too bad.